Living together, who's oh, calling you? Who is she? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. We're back doing a Q&A video. Um, we tried to pick the questions that were mostly repeated or that we felt like you guys were actually interested in hearing. Um, just to try to keep the video a little bit shorter. Um, if you guys are interested, just keep watching. Okay, so this question's from Daniela. It says, how did you guys meet and what was the first impression of each other? So we met at Walgreens, we were both working there. Um, my first impression of him was just that he had muscles and I liked his tattoo. <laughs> like really, that was it. He passed by and I was like, I like him. <laughs> Yeah, well, like she said, we met at Walgreens. Um, I thought she was really quiet at first. I thought the same thing. Okay, this question is from Jackie, and it says, Is it true he has an obsession with flamingos? Uh, Absolutely correct. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, go on. Uh, obsession is a strong word, but I'm definitely an enthusiast of flamingos. This question's from Jackie, my sister. Um, how is it when he was away in the Air Force? Um, so he's left a couple of times. Um, the first time around, we were just dating and he was in basic training. That one was probably one of the most miserable ones because I had no way of talking to him. Um, we could only communicate through letters and like he only sent out like four, right? Like a couple times after. Yeah, I got that. I just time to write. Yeah, and I just wanted to know how he was. So like that was really scary. Um, then he was just away before we got married, so like that was a little easier because we had like we were able to keep in contact with our phones and stuff. Um, the next hardest one, in my opinion, would be the deployment because he was really really far away and we were like in opposite time zones. But that's what I would say my answer would be. It was pretty hard. Like I'm not gonna lie and be like it was all awesome, but military life was awesome. It was besides that. Okay, so this one's from Jackie. How did he ask you out for the first date? He came in. He said, "Hey," and I was like, "What are you doing here?" I was all in my little high voice and then he went to the back room to get what he needed to get Comes back and he just caught me off guard because I remember I was putting something away And he was like, hey, I was wondering if you would like to go out sometime or something like that Yeah, and then she said, <laughs> she said yeah, and then immediately turned around and walked away I ran away guys <laughs> So I was just like, okay, well I guess I'll get your number later or whatever, I don't know I was just shy guys, I just didn't expect it Like, I mean, I had been seeing this guy for months and he'd never paid attention to me because he was in a relationship, so <laughs> faithful man. But I didn't know that, obviously. And like, I was finally like, okay, he's never gonna listen to me. He just comes back and asks me on a date. So no, I was absolutely like, I don't know. I don't know. I got nervous. So I just walked away. I ran away. <laughs> she ran away. I was like, yeah. And then I followed you on Instagram, and we were able to talk like that, right? Yes. Okay. So this question's from Daniela, and it says, do you guys get jealous, or who is the most jealous one? Um, it's definitely me. <laughs> yeah, she's definitely the jealous one. Um, he has like had his few moments, but nothing like crazy. Um, describe each other in one word. That's from Daniela as well. Um, kind. Aw, patient. <laughs> <laughs> Daniela asks, how was it when you guys started living together? Who's oh, calling you? Who is she? <laughs> Just kidding. It's my mom. <laughs> Hello? Hey, mother. This question is from Daniela and it says, how was it when you guys started living together? Um, honestly, everybody warned us, like, it's going to be so rough when you guys start off, blah, 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 blah. And, like, we just kept telling each other, like, this is so cool. But like, <laughs> that's literally how it went. Like, we were like, wow, we got to live with each other now. Yeah, it was honestly a pretty easy adjustment. Um, not really cool. Yeah, we, were, we just kept, like, we were, like, in disbelief, like, for, like, the first months. Like, we were, like, we really did this. We got up and moved to the middle of nowhere. <laughs> yeah, I think the biggest difference is that before she moved in, like, my apartment was, like, really minimalist. Like, I had one plate and one bowl and, like, one spoon and one fork and a knife. Uh, and the second she moved in, like, yeah, that changed real, real quick. Yeah. <laughs> my friends even said, like, oh, it smells good in here. <laughs> <laughs> like, literally, the day, we got there, like, around 7 in the morning, and, like, by, like, 12, we were already out in the stores, like, at Ross, buying, like, everything just to Ross. decorate around there, but, yeah. I feel like that's where your Ross obsession started. Oh, yeah. Um, Daniela asked, what's the favorite thing to do together? Um, it's gotta be eat. Yeah. <laughs> He didn't watch like just whatever on TV. We like to watch shows or movies. I think that's our favorite thing to do. Like, yeah. but like be comfortable at home. Like, I wish we were like, oh no, we like to go on dates. No, we like to be here and just chill. Yeah, yeah. just be in each other's company. Claudia asked, how did you guys manage long distance? Constant communication, really, and then like just making each other aware, like, hey, if I can't text so this, this or that, like, just being honest and yeah, uh, just. Making the best of it, you know? And making time, like, 
even though it was rough, like for like the first thing that came to my mind was like deployment. Like there was times where like we just missed each other so much that one of us had to stay up past our like bedtime because we both had like awful schedules at first. And like we one of us had to stay up and one of us had to wake up early in order to talk to each other. Like making those like little um, like sacrifices like just to be able to speak to each other, like I think that's a huge thing too. Yeah. And then for us, I guess it was easy to say, well, it's temporary, you know, like it wasn't gonna be forever, it's gonna be six, seven yeah. months or so. Yeah, like we got this, we got this, freaking fine. <laughs> so Daniel asked, how did you know that he was the one? Um like literally the moment we started dating, I was like, he's like the nicest guy ever, like and he's always been very patient with me, like very giving. I don't know, I could just feel like how different he was and like um, from other people that I had seen. Like it was just so different and it was just like a different type of relationship. Like it was more mature and I just felt like this is actually gonna go somewhere where we're not just like having fun. I mean I'm not saying I knew like the first week that we were dating, like I was gonna marry this guy, but like as time passed, like I was just like, Oh wow, this is getting really serious and like I just felt it in the way he was treating me, like I was like, he's the one, like this is what I want for my life. And yeah. George said, do you plan to stay in El Paso? Uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah, no, definitely. Uh, we've lived in a couple different places mm -hmm. and uh, we have, the goal was always just to come back and... Be with our families. Yeah. So, okay, so we have another question by George. What is something you both would change about each other? So for me, I would like to, I guess, work on her confidence. I feel like she's not very confident a lot. And I know that she, she could do like some really amazing things if she just like went out and tried it or didn't doubt herself so much. Yeah, there's nothing she would change about me, I'm perfect. Uh, cringe. <laughs> <laughs> the thing I would change the most about him is just that he puts like, a lot of pressure on himself to like get us to like where the ultimate goal is. And I'm like, you just got here. Like, Calm down, but he just like wants the best for us, which I like really appreciate. But um, he is really, really hard on himself, like to provide, I guess, for us and our dogs <laughs> and get us to where like he envisioned us to be. So that's just the only thing. Like I just don't want him to be so rough on himself. But he's doing great. And Daniela asked a place where you both want to visit together. I think Greece, though. I think that's your top. My top. Yeah, I really want to go see the pyramids in Mexico. <laughs> Daniela also asked, how long have you guys been together? So the upcoming month is gonna be six years together, married for three. Yeah. Yeah, six years and married for three. We got married on the same day that we started dating on. Does that make sense? Yeah. We got married at three years of dating. Okay, Daniela asked, how's your relationship with your in-laws? Um, I think pretty good. I think they like me. Yeah. I think so. I think she likes me. So <laughs> <laughs> <Sorry. Yeah. laughs> Um, yeah, I think we have good relationships. Um, I brought him into like a family party like literally like right away pretty much like he met like our entire my entire family like instantly so like he started off pretty early on. Um, now that we're married like I got to see my soda. Now that we moved back to like, I got to see my soda a lot more and she makes like the best baby at top of just Alright, so Leslie asked if you could go back and relive any day as a couple, what day would it be? Uh, I think I know. You know? Yeah, I do. <laughs> what, what is, is it? Is it Disney World? Yeah. <laughs> So about two years ago, before I deployed, we went to Florida and out there we went to Disney World. And I think we both agree that that was a pretty amazing experience for both of us. We would pick any of those days, yeah, like, they yeah. were all amazing. Yeah, the whole the whole trip was a great time and uh, I really want to go back. Yeah, that's like, when this is all over, I feel like that's the first day we're going to jump on. Cause... Yeah, it's amazing. Um, George asked, what's your dream job? My dream job? Mm -hmm. Stay at home husband? Stay at home wife. <laughs> <laughs> I think in a perfect world to me it would be like definitely YouTube. Right? I guess so. Yeah. yeah. Like that's definitely something that I would in a perfect world. But also stay at home mom would be pretty cool. Yeah, for me stay at home dad would be great. If I could I would be a, an esports gamer, but I'm That's not, your dream job then. <laughs> yeah, I'm not that good though. <laughs> yeah. Impossible. Crystal asked, any babies coming soon? Um Trying. <laughs> Jessica asked, I know y'all met at Walgreens, but who made the first move? Um, I'm just kidding. Yeah, it was me. But he just didn't listen she to it. She did like a whole <laughs> girl move, like where she's thinking about you and she expects that no, no, her no. first move. No, I remember the first time I tried talking to him, like I was like, he came and bought something and I was at the register and I was just like, hey, I saw you on your friend's Snapchat, like with my voice and like the whole dumb girl thing. And he's like, cool. And walked away. <laughs> and I was like, oh, I'm done trying there. But I guess he made the first move when he asked me on the date, but like I was trying like for months, guys. actual first months, move, guys. not I'm supposed to read all these messages that I, I don't understand. I was trying for months, you guys. Like, months! Like, <laughs> I'm talking like, he would like walk by and I was like, 
<laughs> he didn't even see me. <laughs> Usually if we're working. Claudia asked who's the calmest of you both. It's obviously me. Not me. You think it's you? Who's jumping on here? Thor! And baby. See who's the calmest right now. <laughs> I'm a Thor! You're like, come here. <laughs> Sit him down, baby. Oh, okay. Sorry, baby. Um, Anyways, the calmest of us is definitely him. Yeah. He's way more calm, like... I'm talking like a hundred times calmer than me. But I also come from a very loud family, so I think that has so much to do with it. Probably. Mariel asked, who said I love you first? One time we were just hanging out, he was laughing. He was like, I love you so much. And like, I don't think he realized that he said it. And then I was just like, I cool, I cool. And then later on, he said it on his own. Like, for real said it. Yeah, yeah. But I think that time it definitely slipped out. And I don't think he even realized it. Like, he just kept doing his thing. And I was like, um, Lupita asked, did you guys ever sneak I guess out to see each other. Um, he when we met, he was already living out on his own. My parents, however, are like very very strict. So yes, I did. Um, not necessarily sneak out, but I would get out of work at twelve thirty. So like I would go just to say hi to him. Literally, it was just like a hi and bye outside. Like, and um, yeah, like I would just tell my parents like sorry they kept me late. I'm sorry, mom, I don't want you. But yeah, I would like just to go say hi though. Like literally, it was so fast because my parents were on top of it. Like they lived down the street from where we worked, so I knew if my dad showed up and I wasn't there, like it was game over for me. Um, Lupita asked, "What has been the biggest fight that you have ever had? And did you guys ever take any breaks?" It was such a dumb fight, guys. It was like literally over a movie that we watched. Really dumb fight. Like literally, it was when we were dating, obviously, and like we went to watch a movie, and like I walked out like. God, that movie was so good and he's like that movie was absolute trash what are you talking about I still think this is the worst movie i've ever seen <laughs> i don't even remember it but i remember like he dropped me off and he like took off like he like drove off before i even closed the door when he dropped me off at my parents house and it was just like such a dumb like we still laughed about it yeah. to this day like, very early on in our relationship yeah like even when i was reading this question i was already smiling because i was just like oh god <laughs> and did you guys ever take breaks um there were dumb dumb fights as well like like one of them was like me testing to see who would come back. It was so dumb, but you guys have to remember, like I was very young when we first started dating, so it was just like petty stuff, like, um, but they were never ever like real breaks. Like we didn't go longer than a couple of days without talking to each other. Like, we came right back. It's been two times, I think, because it has happened. So Lupita asked, how long did he take to propose since he planned it? Did you know he was going to propose? I think that's what she was trying to say because it didn't fit. Um, he proposed two and a half years after he no, almost three. This almost three. Yeah, almost three years after dating. Um, did I know he was going to propose? Um, not when he did it. No, like I had an idea it was gonna come, and then I was like, oh, I guess it's not gonna happen. So like, by the time he did do it, like I had no idea, right? Yeah. I had no idea. <laughs> he caught. I'm shaking. He caught me off guard. <laughs> Hi guys, thanks for watching the Q and A video. As always, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Uh, it really helps her out with the YouTube algorithm and everything. And if you want to make my dream come true of being a stay-at-home <laughs> husband, I would really appreciate it. Um, yeah, just let us know what you want to see her do in the future. Um, if it involves me, then I'll try to be a little, a little bit less awkward. I know I'm a little weird by the camera, but I'm working on it. He's trying, guys, and he like sees you guys asking for these videos, so he sees you guys ask for it, and he's like, let's do it. But um, <laughs> Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. You guys stayed this long. I really appreciate every single one of you guys. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.